Tesla's $25,000 Model 2 Senior Edition just solved the problem nobody saw coming. Getting in and out of your car. The seat lifts you up 50 millimeters automatically. Sounds boring? Here's the twist. This senior tech reads your heart rate, adjusts suspension 25 times per second, and costs less than a Civic. While competitors charge $43,000 for adaptive comfort, Tesla packaged luxury-grade AI into a budget EV. Is this really for seniors? Or did Elon just hack affordable luxury for everyone? Let's dive right in. Let's talk about what actually happens when you're 65 and climbing into a Nissan Leaf. Your knees protest. Your back tightens. You grip the door frame and lower yourself down, hoping you won't need a hand getting back out. Now Tesla's saying they've fixed this with sensors and motors. But here's where it gets interesting. The Model 2 Senior Edition's seat doesn't just adjust. It detects your weight distribution the moment you approach the car, then lifts itself 50 millimeters higher than normal ride height. You slide in without the knee-bending gymnastics. When you're ready to leave, it rises again, reducing the effort to stand by what Tesla's internal data suggests is roughly 40%. This isn't some manual button you forget to press. The system uses embedded pressure sensors to predict when you're entering or exiting. But why would Tesla engineer this for a $25,000 car when luxury brands charge $80,000 for similar features? Here's the uncomfortable truth. The senior market is massive, underserved, and about to explode. By 2030, Americans over 65 will outnumber children for the first time in history. Most of them are still driving, and most of them hate how hard modern cars are to get into. This connects directly to Tesla's suspension breakthrough. The adaptive comfort drive system adjusts damping rates 25 times per second. For context, the Chevrolet Bolt EUV updates its suspension about 3 to 5 times per second. The Nissan Leaf. It's basically fixed. What does this actually mean when you're driving? Every pothole, every cracked pavement seam, every speed bump gets smoothed out before the jolt reaches your spine. Tesla's claiming this reduces cumulative spinal stress on 40 to 50 mile trips, the exact distance most seniors drive for errands, medical appointments, grocery runs. The competitors aren't even trying. Honda's HRV has adjustable seats, but no predictive damping. Hyundai's Ionic 5 offers adaptive suspension, but only on the $43,000 trim. Tesla's packaging this into a car that costs $24,990 and still delivers 310 to 330 miles of range. How is that even possible? The answer lies in their AI prediction system, which takes this concept further than anyone expected. The Model 2 Senior Edition uses Tesla vision cameras and radar to predict moments when you'll feel uncomfortable before they happen. Sharp lane changes, sudden braking, aggressive acceleration. The system doesn't just react, it anticipates. Internal tests show a 35% reduction in sudden jerks during urban driving. The car literally softens steering feedback and smooths acceleration curves before you even register the discomfort. For drivers with arthritis, back problems, or just general sensitivity to abrupt movements, this could mean the difference between driving confidently or giving up the keys. But let's ask the obvious question. If this tech is so good, why isn't Tesla putting it in the Model 3 or Model Y? Why limit it to a senior edition of their cheapest car? Adding all this tech, adaptive suspension, lift assist seats, AI processing, health sensors, should kill the car's efficiency. Extra weight means shorter range. Shorter range means angry customers and bad reviews. Tesla's somehow keeping the weight penalty 
to just 45 to 50 kilograms, roughly the weight of a medium-sized dog. The car still hits 310 to 330 miles per charge and uses only 12.8 to 13 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Compare that to retrofitted senior-friendly EVs from aftermarket companies, which often sacrifice 40 to 60 miles of range for comfort upgrades. Tesla's not revealing their full playbook, but the likely answer is software optimization. Instead of throwing more battery at the problem, they're using predictive algorithms to reduce energy waste. The AI learns your driving patterns and preconditioned systems only when needed, rather than running everything continuously. This efficiency strategy extends to features that sound like science fiction. The seat has embedded sensors that detect heart rate, respiration, and stress levels. If your heart rate spikes above 110 beats per minute during low-intensity driving, the car suggests taking a break. If it detects irregular breathing, it adjusts cabin climate and lighting to reduce stress. Is this helpful or invasive? Tesla's betting that seniors will love it, and adult children buying cars for their aging parents will definitely love it. The entire health monitoring suite adds less than 1.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers because it only activates when needed. The lift assist seat only powers up when weight sensors detect someone approaching. The adaptive suspension only intensifies when cameras detect rough road ahead. Everything else stays in low power mode, which is why the Model 2 Senior Edition maintains the same range as the standard version. Now let's put the $24,990 price tag in perspective. The Nissan Leaf E Plus, with its basic comfort features, costs about $28,000 after incentives and delivers only 226 miles of range. The Chevy Bolt EUV starts at $33,500 with zero AI assistance and no lift assist seating. The Hyundai Ioniq 5 with adaptive suspension, $43,000 minimum. Tesla's undercutting everyone while delivering more tech. The only explanation is scale. Giga Texas is now optimized to build 12,000 units per month once ramped up. Orders placed in Q1 2026 should arrive by December 2026, fast by industry standards. But here's the twist. Tesla's probably not making much profit on these cars. The Model 2 Senior Edition looks like a loss leader designed to lock seniors into the Tesla ecosystem. Once you're using their supercharger network, their insurance, their service centers, you're not switching to Ford or GM. The supercharger advantage amplifies this strategy. Range anxiety is real, especially for older drivers who remember when EVs could barely make it across town. The Model 2 Senior Edition charges at up to 250 kilowatts, meaning 15% to 80% charge in roughly 28 to 32 minutes. For seniors planning road trips to visit grandchildren or travel between winter and summer homes, this matters enormously. You're not stuck at some sketchy third-party charging station for two hours. Every other affordable EV relies on third-party charging networks that are slower, less reliable, and often broken. Tesla's infrastructure advantage is so massive that it almost doesn't matter what the competition does with their cars. So what's really happening here? Tesla's built a $25,000 car with features that luxury brands charge $80,000 for, targeted at a demographic everyone else ignores, and priced it to undercut every competitor by thousands of dollars. This isn't just about helping seniors drive longer. It's about Tesla establishing dominance in the affordable EV market before Ford, GM, Hyundai, or the Chinese manufacturers can respond. By the time competitors reverse-engineer these features, Tesla will be three software updates ahead. The Model 2 Senior Edition isn't charity. It's strategy. And it might just be the smartest move Tesla's made since the Model 3.
So here's what this really means. Tesla just proved that affordable and luxury comfort aren't opposites anymore. Remember when we asked why Tesla would bet on seniors when Gen Z dominates EV buzz? Because they're not just selling to seniors. They're rewriting what every driver should expect from a $25,000 car. That lift assist seat, that 25 times per second suspension, that heart rate monitoring, those features will trickle into every Tesla model within three years. This is the testing ground. And here's what happens next. Ford and GM will scramble to respond, but they're at least 18 months behind. By late 2026, when the first Model 2 Senior Editions hit driveways, Tesla will already be iterating on version 2.0. The Chinese manufacturers might match the hardware, but they don't have the supercharger network or the AI infrastructure. Tesla's not just winning the EV race, they're changing the finish line. This is Tech Revolution, where we break down the moves that reshape entire industries before the headlines catch up. If you want more analysis that connects the dots between what companies announce and what they're actually planning, you know where to find us. So, what do you think happens when every automaker realizes they've been ignoring the fastest-growing demographic? Does this force a complete rethink of what budget EVs can deliver? Drop your predictions below. The Model 2 Senior Edition launches in nine months. The competition has zero months to catch up. That's not a fair fight. That's a declaration of dominance. $10,000. That's not a typo. That's Tesla's actual target price for the Model 2. And it's already being built at 3,000 cars per day. Seven new updates are baked in. Porsche-inspired handling. Falcon wing doors. Gigacast frames that solved a three-year vibration problem. And production tech so advanced, it's outpacing Ford and GM combined. But here's the shocking part. How does a $10,000 EV get features that cost twice as much on competitors? And why is Tesla's line running 150% faster than anyone else's? The answers reveal a manufacturing breakthrough that's about to reshape the entire industry. Let's dive right in. Here's what should be impossible. A $10,575 car that handles like a Porsche 911 and looks like a Jaguar F-Type. Tesla didn't copy these legends. They reverse-engineered the feeling. They studied what makes a 911 grip corners with surgical precision and what gives an F-Type that confident glide. Then they scaled it down into a compact EV using what insiders call scaled dynamics. The numbers tell the real story. Tesla targeted 10 to 15% lower rotational inertia than competing compact EVs. That means sharper steering response without the twitchy nervousness that makes budget cars feel cheap. Weight distribution sits at 48 to 52% front to rear, almost perfectly balanced, achieved by positioning battery modules slightly rearward and adding precisely calculated ballast in the front subframe. This isn't guesswork. It's 55.1 pounds of strategic mass placement that changes how the car rotates through every turn. Tesla lengthened the wheelbase by 6 to 12 inches compared to typical compacts. Why? Longer wheelbase smooths highway rides for cross-country road trips, while short overhangs keep the car nimble in tight urban parking. They studied how Americans actually drive and built the dimensions around that reality. The suspension blends Porsche's progressive anti-roll geometry with Jaguar's multi-link comfort tuning, spring rates reduced by 15%, 